It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August. So August uh, 2nd, 3rd through the 9th, 10th, something like that. What do we have for Virgo for the first week of August? Well, we got these, so. Four of Pentacles, Star, King of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So this is having fun, a celebration of some sort. Hopes and wishes being fulfilled. This is uh, somebody that is obsessed with something, hiding something, making a decision. A decision is being made. Um, could be dealing with an Aquarius, could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Five of Pentacles reversed. So, prayers being answered. Somebody's prayers are being answered. You may not know it, you may not see it. This is... Uh, And it's interesting, Four of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. So we have somebody here that is obsessed with holding something. Obsessed. But the Five of Pentacles reversed is a turning point of some sort. There's a turning point here. A decision is being made. It's time to be happy because this is happy. This is joyful. It's a celebration of some sort. Somebody may have been neglected or ghosted or something and, you know, uh, this is like begging. Maybe somebody is begging for forgiveness or, and I'm not saying that's going to happen, but the five of pentacles reverses the end of difficulty. It's, it's coming out of the darkness. Okay. It is. And this is, and this is a light. Stars are a guiding light. So this is definitely coming out of darkness. There's light at the end of the tunnel here. Now, the King of Swords is an energy of making a decision, even though it's a tough one. So somebody is going to be making a tough decision. Could be dealing with a father. You may, and this could be a father as well. So we may, we may have something to do with a father figure or somebody in authority in your life. It doesn't have to be a father. It could be a husband. It could be a boyfriend. It could be a boss. But the emperor in reverse is somebody that deserts you. Somebody that deserts you in the time of need. This is somebody that doesn't want responsibility. Doesn't have a lot of experience. Maybe mean-spirited. Could even be abusive. This could be an abuser. Could be somebody that is has narcissistic traits. Or clings to control. Isn't very stable. Uh, may not even be mentally stable. There's some sort of instability here with the emperor in reverse. There's disorganization. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody with value, that knows their value, that has something in their hand. Now, that is manifestation. That is the Ace of Pentacles. Has something, a golden opportunity in their hand. This is something stable, something solid, something secure. Feels like a decision is being made, and maybe the decision is being made to give something to this person that is solid, stable, and secure. This could even be some sort of reunion. The Three of Cups. Not sure what is going on here, but uh, this is happiness, joy, celebrating. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a very hard worker, very um, genuine, very um, realistic, responsible, devoted. So this person is very devoted. A decision is being made. And it feels like she has something solid. She, and this is a gift. So the, you may be receiving a gift Leo, because, uh, did I say Leo? Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Maybe it's from a Leo. I didn't do my, I did my Leo reading last night, so this is weird. Anyhow, Virgo, you may be receiving a gift. Maybe it's from a Leo. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any Leo here, but that came out of my mouth. 
Um, the emperor in reverse is an individual that is corrupt, okay? And this could be the law that is making a decision, okay? It could. This is somebody in authority, you know, that may be taking the power away from somebody that thought they were in th an authority, you know? Um, so I'm not sure what is going on, but this emperor in reverse is a person. It is a person that is very, very controlling, that is power hungry, um, that is corrupt, that doesn't, that is entitled, that doesn't really take responsibility, um, is on the wrong side of the law. And this is somebody that is very discerning and intelligent that can see right through it. This person sees something, you know, this person looks a little angry almost, very upset by what they see. So somebody is upset by what they see. And there's guidance here because this is a guiding light. This is somebody from above, you know, that may be guiding uh, somebody in a new direction. There's been some sort of neglect or abandonment, okay? And it's been hidden. It looks like this abandonment or neglect has been hidden because this is hidden. Um, interesting. So let's keep going. I think whoever you are dealing with, um, somebody's going to be experiencing a tower moment. Whoever you are dealing with uh, is uh, selfish. They're selfish. You may have been praying for some sort of change. And it feels like you are praying because this is begging, praying. There's been some praying, praying for some sort of... Uh, different outcome perhaps something to be revealed i think your prayers are about to be answered however that resonates with you there's going to be a tower moment this is major disturbance and it's for this individual who was clinging to control that was power hungry um that was abusive i think there's going to be a change could be a change in residence could be a change in the home or the job or however this resonates with you it's a foundation that is about to uh, crumble. It's like the light, the light, and this is a guiding light, is about to be shed on a situation, okay? There's going to be a major disturbance. And, I, you know, I'm not sure it's in your life. I feel like it's in somebody else's. I think it's somebody that you're dealing with that has been hiding something. I feel like what they've been hiding is going to be revealed. It's like this is the universe that comes in to cause disruption. It, it breaks it down. It it causes uh, it it takes the lid off. That's you know what I mean. It just it shows it to the world. The world sees exactly what this is. There's no hiding it anymore. You can't hide it anymore. There's there's major instability here. I think we have an individual that is very very unstable. They may have pretended that they were stable because this is pretend. Okay, it is. They may have pretended that they were stable or that they were secure, or whatever. They built up a whole lot of falseness, and now it's, their falseness is falling apart. You know, what they built is falling apart. Their lies are falling apart. Um, there could be some sort of illness here with the Nine of Swords and the Tower. And even the Emperor reversed, there's some sort of illness. And there's probably going to be some regrets. I think there's some regrets. I feel like... Um, we have an individual that may be even having a hard time standing up. It feels like they, they, they're weak. They're weak. Maybe they're getting weaker. Um, they're exhausted. The universe works in mysterious ways. So I think there's, there's definite instability here where somebody may have pretended to be stable. You know, um, whatever has been hidden is going to be shown. It's going to be shown. So, um... I think we have an individual that is going to be upset. They are angry and they see something. They see that somebody is uh, corrupt or that they're lying or they're false. It's false. They're going to see that it was false. They're going to they're gonna see that they were being lied to or something like that. Um, and I feel as though you are going to be receiving a gift because this is your energy. You're going to be receiving a gift. But you may not, you may uh, 
feel sad that you receive the gift in this manner. You know what I mean? It's like this isn't how you wanted it to happen. That's how I feel because you notice this Nine of Swords is next to you. You may be feeling overwhelmed. You may feel like uh, this is a little bit too much. This isn't what I asked for. But your prayers are being answered and, you know, the universe works in mysterious ways. So, um, interesting. Three of Swords reversed. Now, the Three of Swords reversed is leaving the past behind. It's a card of forgiveness, um, healing. On the path to recovery. So, the tower is going to fall. The tower is going to fall. It's going to crumble. There's going to be a tower moment. It's going to be a major disturbance. Now, it either has to do with, an, with uh, somebody that is... It's either a father, but it could be a mother. It is somebody that is very much, um, very much um, controlling. Okay, this is somebody who, who clings to control and likes to be the boss, doesn't listen to advice, won't listen to advice, um, sees themselves as a victim, plays themselves as a victim. This person, but... They they play themselves to be somebody in authority, or they play themselves to be very intelligent. But I don't think they are very intelligent. I think there is somebody that is, you know, there's always somebody that is smarter than you, okay? And, or smarter than me, or some, just, you know, to make people, whatever it is, what it is. There's always somebody that has more information or is more experienced than you, and I feel like there is an individual here that has some, has sees something. This person sees something false about a person that is very manipulative. And I feel like this information causes a major disturbance in this uh, controlling individual's life. And I feel like this controlling individual is going to be experiencing a lot of regrets. They are maybe found guilty even of something. I'm not sure what it is, but they may be found guilty. Um, they were able to hide who they were. But anyhow, you are going to be receiving some sort of golden opportunity, a gift of some sort. This is going to make you happy. On one hand, it's going to make you happy. But on the other hand, you may feel sad. You may feel sad over this. Um, sun. Sun is extreme happiness. It could be a Leo. You could have be dealing with a Leo. I'm not sure. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aquarius a couple times. We have Aries. We have Capricorn. We have Taurus and Virgo. So... This is an opportunity for happiness and healing. Healing. Somebody may need your help as well. You are very grounded. You are very stable. You are very secure. You may have what it takes to help somebody heal. Okay? Somebody may be coming to you for advice. Or they may be asking you to help. I don't know where that's coming. Help somebody that is very weak. You know, they may be coming to help you, ask you to help you, ask you to help. Um, this is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. It's freedom. It's yes, 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 yes. This is beautiful. This is a, this is a golden opportunity. You're going to be given an opportunity. And it has to do with healing. And it's to help somebody heal. You're going to be given an opportunity to help somebody heal by somebody that um, sees your ability. They're going to see your your shine. They're going to see your glow. They're going to see your your beauty. Somebody is going to see your ability to help other people heal. So I feel like a decision is going to be made to go with you, however that resonates. Okay, somebody is making a decision and they're using discernment right now. They are. They're making a decision as we speak. You're going to be given an opportunity. And this opportunity could even lead to an increase in money. However that, I don't know how that is, but it feels like an increase, a, a financial increase of some sort. It's like from sadness, 
and grief to the ultimate healing. Okay, this is the this is healing. Okay, um, this is this is gonna this is an opportunity to um, help somebody heal. You're gonna be sought out. I feel like somebody is gonna seek you out. Anyway, um, this tower is is a shocking event, a fated event. You may have been dealing with a narcissist. This is a, the emperor in reverse is a tyrant, somebody that is a narcissist. It could be a boss. I'm not sure who it is. It could be a boss. could be a husband. could be a boyfriend. But this is, this is a fated event, event that doesn't last. Okay, this is a false foundation that doesn't last. It breaks down. It crumbles. It crumbles fast. It causes pain. But there's a healing. So this is interesting. This is healing from pain. Healing from pain. So this is definitely healing and rebuilding because you have to rebuild. You, there's no chance. There's no chance. There's no choice but to rebuild. So there is going to be, you know, somebody may be even getting paid. They're getting paid. If you've been struggling, you've been struggling financially and you've been having financial hardship, you may be getting more money. Somebody's, I don't know how that resonates with you, but somebody may be getting more money for their abilities to, to help others, however that is. Um, there's a lot of healing going on here. Healing, healing, healing. This is a dream come true. The star card. Somebody is is somebody that is maybe a director. This could be a director or um, a dictator of some sort. Could be a judge. Could be somebody in a law enforcement. This is somebody that is watching something, making a decision. Five of Wands going back and forth, struggling. There's a lot of competition, making a decision between you and some sort of competition. But I do feel as though you are going to be given an opportunity that you can take right to the bank this week. This is going to make you extremely happy. This truly is a golden opportunity. This could really boost your financial uh, revenue. Your bank account. So Virgo, I feel like this week you're going to be given an opportunity that you have been praying for. And this has to do with financial security. It's going to make you extremely happy. The, the the events that you have been through, the turmoil, the uh, ghosting, the neglect, whatever it is that has crumbled in your life is about to pay off in some way. You're about to be rewarded. I think you're about to get a reward. Good luck. 